Hey everybody, it's Brooke with the Junk Parlor and I'm in my coat because I'm freezing. Um, <laughs> if you are always cold or if you know somebody who is always cold, me, then a great Christmas present for that person. My best Christmas present last year was a little um, heated electric uh, throw blanket. So good Christmas idea for you. But I am always cold. So coat, coat is on today. Um, just kind of as a little starter for you, because I thought this was very funny and cute. Um, husband found a, um, like meme or something on social media somewhere. And it was like COVID explained by crafters. So you, um, go to a friend's house to do a craft project and one, let's say there's five of you. One of you uses glitter. How many of you go home with glitter? All of you. So anyway, I thought that was really cute. All right. So about the sale, I don't know. Something in here is very echoey. So hopefully it's not annoying on your side. Um, how this works is I do a sale on Sunday at 7 p.m. and Tuesday at noon. Um, show you some antique items or old items, cool items. I'll tell you if it's a new item and you can just comment if you want the item. If it's your first time purchasing, I need your email address and your zip code. Um, know that if you're watching on Instagram, you are just gonna have to make a note of the things that you are interested in and then send me a message afterwards because when it gets posted to IGTV, it does not copy the comments over. On Facebook, I will go through and I will click like when I've read your comment and I will put next in line if you were not the first person to say that you wanted something. And then I will send out invoices today. So if you're a first time buyer, you need to pay that invoice within 24 hours. If you're a returning customer, then you're just gonna wait until Thursday after I add shipping to your invoice. So on Thursdays, I package everything up send out um, invoices, and then once those are paid, uh, normally going to be on Friday, everything gets shipped out. Um, so that's kind of how the process works. If you have any questions, just ask. Um, don't feel intimidated if it's your first time. It's going to be everybody's first time at some point. Um, and if you ever need something to be shipped ASAP, then just let me know that because I can totally make that happen as well. If you ever order anything on the website, thejunkparlor.com, that stuff goes out immediately, just FYI, um, unless I already have something in holding, and then I'll probably message you and see what you want me to do because it is much cheaper to sh ship a box of goods versus just one thing here and there. Um, so if you want me to hold things until you have a box worth, that's completely fine, but just tell me that before Thursday. Um, and then some of you, I just do that every week or every every time you get anything anyway, and it works out fine. You can also pick up locally in Centerville, Iowa, and while you're here, you can shop the shop. Um, Small Business Saturday is coming up November 28th, and I will be open at um, my shop in Centerville, Iowa from 9 to 4. So if you are within driving distance and you want to come shop, perfect timing. You don't have to set up an appointment any or anything. Otherwise, I'm open by appointment. Okay, I will stop talking and we'll start looking at some goodies that are up for grabs. So this one's showing up okay on the screen. Scoot it over a little bit for Facebook. This is a sled, okay? Also known as Captain America Shield, okay? So this would be fun for a costume. It would be awesome hanging on the wall. Um, all I did was kind of tie up the twine here. It is pretty weathered. You could just flip it over, you could cut it off. I did not seal it or anything. There is some surface rust and you can definitely see the rust here on the back, but all you would need to do is just spray a clear coat on it. Um, but I could totally see this hanging in somebody's house um, and even here for Christmas. You could also, if you like to stage in front of your Christmas tree, for the holidays, um, you know, you could put one of these at the base of your Christmas tree as part of your Christmas tree decor um, as well. So this sled is $45 because I don't think that I said that. So uh, sled, Captain America, $45. 
Okay, then we have some snowflakes, and these guys are $15 each. Um, I don't know if they're all exactly identical, but they are very close. So I got these thinking I would put them in the truck, and then I just didn't end up doing that last year. So these are pretty thick, look like an inch or more um, styrofoam with these little like wispies covering them and lots of glitter. They're very lightweight, so $15 each. Um, I'm not going to specify which is which because I don't think it really matters. Um, there are, or this one does still have um, a ribbon on it so you could hang it and the rest of them do not. But what you could do um, is just use some fishing line. It's clear, you would never be able to see it um, and hang things that way if you want to have it dangling or whatever. Um, those are $15 each and there are four available. Okay, then for $10 we have this Ohio Blue Tip Matches um, box. It's just an empty old advertising box. This one is in great condition. And um, if you noticed on Instagram, I got my camera to switch, so I was super excited about that. I'm sure that app will stop working at some point again and I'll have to reload it. Um, but we got the Blue Tip Ohio Matches box for $10. It's just the advertising box. Okay, then for $15, we have this old paper mache um, Santa boot. It still has like some wax paper lining inside of it. It's really in good condition. There's a little bit of red chipped off in spots that you can see here on the camera. Um, but you could put a bottle, br bottle brush tree in that. Just put some greenery in that. Um, Santa Set a little Santa head on it. $15 on our old paper mache boot. Okay, then we have two green wheels. So this is green wheel number one for $15. You could take some red ribbon, thread it through there, have it hanging up here, and voila, you've got a wreath. You could um, glue some little, um, you know, evergreen or berries or something to it as well if you wanted to, but this one is number one and it is $15. And these you can totally set out year round as well. You know how much I love green. So this one is number two, they're identical. Or I mean, they're off the same thing. Um, number two is $15 as well. So make a wreath for yourself, give one as a gift. Okay, uh, last year I did a bunch of DIY projects, um, 25, projects, 25 days of Christmas. I did DIY projects every day live on Facebook. Um, I'm going to do that this year as well. This is $10. This was one of the projects I did last year were these little spindle ornaments. I pretty much do that about every other time, right? Um, and so this one, I just added a little eye to and then some ribbon and we're gonna do something like that. Although this time I think I'm gonna team up with some other girls and we'll kind of do a group effort of 25 days of DIYs. So $10 on our first ornament, which you don't need to put anything um, for that first one. Just make sure you number the rest of them. So this one is number two. Make sure you say number two. Now, these already had some holes in them, and so that's how I put the ribbon through. This one has little red stitching on it, and so did the other one as far as the ribbon. This one's number two for 10. And then this one I used for um, some baker twine. This one is number three, and it's just that black and white um, string twine. Ornament, ornament number three for 10. And then our last one is number four. And this one I put an eye on it as well. So number four, this one is just uh, more rustic with just some brown twine. So 
you can see you can change out that ribbon every year if you are a person who likes to switch up your um, tree decor and what color scheme you use each year and so that would be an easy fix to uh, switch out to make them go in so We've got a bundle of three for $3. These are the little plastic um, candle uh, rings. They would slide over a little tapered candle. This one is one of them. And you can also use these as wreaths. You can stick them inside things just to be your greenery. So this one is the second one. Again, you're getting three of these. They're all different three dollars and that literally just broke off you're still going to get three of them for three dollars so they're plastic they're vintage um, you could glue that back on or just set it in there depending on what you're going to do still looks fine actually without that one in there um, and so these little candle rings three of them for three dollars Okay, then we have, for $45, we have this little um, Santa pitcher. I better hold on to it so Brooke doesn't have an accident and drop it. It is a Napco um, Ceramic Japan. It still has its original sticker here on the bottom. And it is $45. So this guy is pretty cute. I measured him, but I've already forgot what the height was. I'm going to say about six inches just going off of my hand. So good condition. Santa pit, picture. Instagram video is kind of bright. Looks like to me. <clears throat> okay. Then I have two of these, but we're just selling them separately. $45 each on these corbels. So this kind of gives you an insight into how a corbel is made. Um, a lot of times it's thinner wood that they staple together or nail together to make a, a fatter chunk. Um, so this is just plain wood, hasn't ever been used or stained or anything for $45. So you could use it to, um, you know, mount a countertop, a shelf, uh, make your own DIY uh, mantle, and you can just set them out long ways, up and down, whatever you want. So $45 on this one. You can also always take into consideration if you add some paint, um, it's going to make it look, you know, older, distressed. This one is the second one, number two. I would say that this board had had some water damage at some point because it's graying. But you can also use the gray stain on this. You can add vinegar and vinegar will kind of gray the wood as well if you like that look. So it just kind of depends on what look you're going for. Um, but if you really wanna get a heavy layered look, just simply dump this into a paint can and then let it dry. And then you can always dump it into another color and do a bunch of layers that way. So $45 and this is corbel number two. Okay, then we have a little bottle uh, brush tree for $6. This one has, um, you know, pretty caked on uh, fake snow. $6 on our bottle brush tree. Great to stick in your little, you know, this little paper mache boot, good sizing. Not quite big enough to go into the picture. Okay, this is a new um, sled for $5. You could hang this on a wreath. You could put it on your tabletop and use it as a riser. You could put, a so put some letters over it and do Noel or something. Uh, use it as an ornament on your tree even. So $5 on this sled, it's wood and metal. Okay, then we have $65 on this scale basket. This is very heavy, so it's not aluminum. Um, it's more like a cast iron, it's not cast iron, but I don't know my metals. Um, it's a very heavy duty. 
So you could do a whole bunch of things with this. You could put some tinsel garland in here and display all of your Christmas ornaments. You could do straw in here and do a bunch of pumpkins here for your centerpiece for Thanksgiving. Um, so many options. You can throw your basket, your baskets, you can use it as a basket and throw your magazines in it, um, set it on your floor. It does have some markings on the back. Um, that I can't read completely. Something Products Company, Chicago, USA, and then it has 100 on there. So that is embossed on the bottom. Um, so this is because it has this nice base, it would look great just on your table or even on your kitchen counter. You could put your produce in there. Um, so a great little scale basket or big scale basket for $65. Okay, not my normal kind of brush, but someone actually sent me, and I don't think it was exactly the same style, but um, something they had seen on Pinterest where they took little scrubby brushes like this and turned them into um, Santa. With this one having two rings on it or whatever, I could see it going and being um, a snowman. This is a wood handle. Um, it's just got some uh, cream paint over it. it says home products Stanley something Westfield Massachusetts maybe so this would be fun too just to put by your kitchen sink whether you use it or not it seems like it's pretty unused five dollars on our kitchen brush and then we have five dollars on this metal brush um it has a name too, but it's pretty worn off there. Um, but these are metal, but it's like soft. It's like, I don't know if it is copper, but it's kind of copperish. Um, you can use these to clean lots of junk. Um, you could also just hang this on the wall. It would go, you know, with some twine in there very easily. If you like brushes, you can stick it in a crock. Um, all sorts of things, but it is functional as well if it's, if you need something to clean. So $5 on this. Things that have surface rust, a brush like that are really handy for. Okay, next up we have three of these wooden ornaments for $10. And I just picked an assortment here. Let me try and hold these in a different way. We've got um, a little girl playing, or not a girl, she's got a beard. A person playing an uh, instrument. We've got the drummer boy, and then we have uh, Frosty. So these are three, you're getting all three for $10, these little wooden ornaments. Um, you can hang them on the tree, but you could also just take the twine, twine off or the string off and glue these down onto something so that they can stand and put them in some of your little snow globes or um, if you're doing some kind of miniature thing. So three for $10. Okay, then we also have another set of wood ornaments and they are, there are three of them for $10. Our little Nutcracker guy is probably a little bit newer than the other ones, but you've got um, Soldier, which he looked like he had something on his back, but I can't tell. We've got the angel coming out of the drum, and then we have the Nutcracker. So these three for $10 also. Let's see if I can get them up close a little bit for you. So that is the second bundle of wood ornaments. Okay, then we have a stitched Santa here for $5. $5 on our Santa. Then we have $4.50 on this um, bottle brush tree and it has a cork for a base. The cork's not very big on the bottom, but it will stand up and you can also stick it in things. So we have this vintage Santa mug for $15. And this is the last one that I have right now, unless I find some more. And the white on my Instagram camera is terrible. 
Um, but you can take the bottle brush tree and bam, stick it in here and you've got yourself a cute little um, display. So $4.50 on the bottle brush tree and $15 on our Santa mug. Okay, next up we have Mary Lee, the Red Cross Girl. And this book is $10. It has a great cover to it. It is blue, so you could easily uh, work it into your red, white, and blue disp display. This was a gift back in 1918. So $10 on our Red Cross Girl. And then this is a first aid textbook for $10. Does have not blood, thank goodness, but paint on it. Um, not from me, but from someone. 1940 is the copyright date on this one. Again, you could take out the pages because there are um, pages of, there's some note on how to uh, do an ankle. Um, but there are pictures in there, so you could use those for your junk journals. You could use them and, you know, like this one, you could take and um, decoupage to some cardstock, stick it in a flower frog and have it out for display. And, you know, if somebody is into uh, doctor stuff or during Halloween, so you can do different things with the images in there as well. So $10 on our first aid textbook. And then this is a plastic book. It says cleanable with uh, water, but it's pretty um, crusty. I don't know if that's the word. Um, pretty brittle. Brittle would be a better term. Um, sounds that help, 1950s. This is $5. Um, and like I said, it says plastic book, clean with a damp cloth. But um, the inside pages are okay. Just the cover and the back, I feel like, are pretty darn brittle. So again, some great images. You could frame these or just use a clothespin and tack them up for a little kid's room. Or even this, I think, would go in a man cave or anywhere where you have some color coordinating things. So $5 on our Sounds That Help book. Okay, then because it's flannel season, I grabbed a couple of flannels that I did the um, bleach to. So if you want to know how to do this, this is on my blog. It's $15. This one is, it's just a thrift, thrift store um, flannel. So it's Roman's brand and it says 12W made in Bangladesh. So for me, I would just say it's a medium. This would be a size that I would wear. But I love the colors on this one. So $15 on that. And then we've got another one for $15. And this one is originally Abercrombie & Fitch. And it is a medium. So you can see again kind of how this one is dyed. These look cute if you roll up the sleeve, leave them open over a tank top or a shirt. So $15 on our red flannel one. Okay, then this is a not a vintage uh, Christmas tree. Again, this was another DIY project that I did last year. There, It's $45. So um, we have this old ornate frame. Um, that I have painted green and distressed. And then you can see the um, jewels are all vintage jewels, pretty much golds and pearls added here um, to make a Christmas tree. So $45 on our framed jeweled Christmas tree. And you can see it is pretty uh, thick and dimensional on the frame. So $45 on this one. Okay, next up we have $15 on this bundle of um, little Christmas uh, presents that have been staked. So you could put them into a plant, you could take that off and use them somewhere else, stick them in with your greenery in something, just some red and white plaid with some yarn ribbon. So three for 15 on our package bundle. 
Okay, then like I had mentioned the other day, I got a ton of more uh, Sweden molds. So you are getting four for $20. So there's four that are this shape. And these little tarts or candy molds are stamped Sweden on the bottom. And these are great. You can uh, make candles. You can turn them into a wreath. You can uh, put a hole in them or just a glue ribbon to them and turn them into ornaments. So you're getting four round for $20. Then the next ones are four for 20 and these are diamond shaped but you can do the same things with them. Or if you're making a Christmas tree and you need like a star for the top of it, this would be a good thing you could glue to the top of your tree. Like if you were doing one of those spindle trees or doing a jeweled tree. So the diamond ones are 20. Then we have these uh, smaller floor, flower shaped ones, four of them for 20. You can also just put them into a bowl and um, or leave them stacked and put them tall and put something in them, even a little votive candle. So the smaller uh, floral size. And then these, I don't know if they're necessarily a heart. Um, they could be, but definitely a diamond shaped. So again, four for 20 on these. And you can tell these are in really good condition. There's no rusting. You could actually use them for candy. They're very shiny. So four for 20 on the diamond. And then we have four for 20 on these oblong ones. You could also set these by your sink and put your jewelry in them when you're washing dishes anybody does that and then just call this the last batch because what I called oblong and these are very very similar so last batch of Sweden molds for for $20 okay then we have this was probably some kind of kit that somebody didn't finish um, so you could paint it how you wanted, um, and it is $10 on our wooden snowman. $10 on our wooden snowman. You can make him a sign for his belly and say hello or welcome. And then we have our wooden Christmas tree with the heart topper for $10. Okay, next up for $45, we have this um, taller post, and I was going to measure and then I forgot. Santa's hat does not go with it. I was just showing you something fun that you could do um, with the hook that is still on there. Um, I want to say this is about 18 inches tall, and it is $45. So white, chippy. This has not been sealed. It's a very weathered wood, um, but would be great to hang a Santa's hat or a stocking or something from $45 on that one. Okay, then we have another one that's probably like a half of an inch shorter and it is $40. So there's no hook on this one. Again, has not been sealed. It's weathered wood with white chippy paint on it. You can use these as a riser. You can stick some greenery down in there. They both have holes. You can put a, a candle on it. Um, so many options, just set it as it is if you want. So $40 on this one. Again, figure about 18 inches. And actually now that they're together, it's probably an inch and a half. Um, height difference between the two. The one with the hook is taller. Okay, then we have 10 of these little wooden reindeer and they are $3 for all 10. They make me think of those like stackable Batman, but they do not stack. Okay, maybe you know what I'm talking about. So 
10 of these guys for three dollars they're all just raw wood they are pretty thick you could paint them or leave them you could glue them to the top of a picture frame you could put it in um, an ornament that you're making like if you're doing something inside a jello mold or or uh something like that so three uh dollars on our little reindeer and there's 10 um, of those okay this has cottontail or cottontail cattail um on it because my cattails all got poofy and shedded all over everything um so we've got a couple of more um christmas tree stands and this is all i have left so i know that i've gone through this before but if this is your first time watching again you would just twist these to loosen them up then the candle goes down in um that spot perfectly okay so it'd be like that and then you can stick some greenery around it and voila you have an awesome um candle and centerpiece display you can also always hang these on the wall they look great as a piece of art as well so ten dollars on this one and again these are my last last two the other one though is twenty dollars it's ginormous okay so this one is 20 so on this one maybe what I would do if you're wanting to use it as a candle is I would tighten all of these things because that would give you a platform here in the middle and then that way you could take the same size candle I'm never gonna be able to do it without wasting a bunch of time. You could take the same size candle and it would sit here on top and see that makes it a little bit more proportional. And then you could, and you could get even a thicker candle. I'm sure we've all seen those that are probably literally that size or bigger. And then you could shove some greenery in there if you wanted. Um, you could put tinsel in there. You could have some little ornaments peeking out around the edge but $20 on this larger tree stand. Okay, then we have some spindles. Um, these are $8 each, and they are, um, there's four of them. So let's do four for 30. So $30 on these four spindles. They have been cut, so you could stand them up and use this part to set a candle or just to display like this. You can hang these on the wall. You can paint them. Spray paint's probably the quickest since you have all of these um, curves and nooks and stuff. But you can also just shove these into a crock either direction. Um, and display them that way. So four of them for $30. Okay, then we have one, two, three, nine of these um, glass ornaments and they're $25. So you've got this little, three of them are going to be these smaller round um, three of them are these, what would you call them? A teardrop shape. And three of them, maybe this one's a teardrop shape. They all have some green hand painted on them with some berries. So nine ornaments, $25 on those. Okay, then I got a couple of ovens. So this is the first one. It's $35. It's a little bit smaller than the other one. Super cute. Put this on your kitchen counter. Um, you could stack some things on here if you wanted. Like you could do a Santa mug and have some candy canes coming out of them. Um, but this is just so cute. Or open shelving, do a little collection of stoves. So cute. So two of the doors don't open and then two of the doors do. If I can get it. So you could leave it open. You could put like in the spring, I'm thinking succulents, but you could do tinsel or do some evergreens or something if you want to have it open. 
Um, and so let's see if I can get it into the slot. Can't, but this would be super cute on your oven or on your oven, on your countertop or other places around your house as well. And there is a little uh, clock with a hand dial there on top, I'm trying to get the door shut, um, that you could spin around to whatever time you wanted as well. So $35 on stove number one. And then we'll have to come to stove number two later because it's gonna cause an avalanche once I grab it. Okay, we have um, two of these nine foot long strands of red wooden beads for $20. So it's gonna be 18 foot worth, two um, nine foot strands for $20. So you can use those and drape them across your um, mantle, um, use them as garland in your tree, Lots of options. Okay, then we have a tablecloth here for $5. It's very thin and there are at least one, maybe two, excuse me, little holes or like snags. I would call them a snag. Um, it is approximately 49 by 66. Now, personally, I would not just spread out a tablecloth on my table. I would suggest... Um, Put that sticker on the right thing. I would suggest bundling it up and crinkling it up and using it down the center of your table like a, a table runner, but again, not leaving it flat, not folding it. Um, and then you could also put it inside a basket. You could use it as a blanket and put it on your porch or in your living room. Um, you can have it coming out of a picnic basket or something in your house. I'm trying to find the snag. And I'm not seeing it. It is not very big, but I did notice it when I was spreading this bad boy out. So like there's a snag right here a little bit. So it's not very noticeable, how about that? But this is very thin fabric. So $5 on our tablecloth. And then we have a newer tablecloth. It's marked Better Homes and Gardens. And it is $10 and it is 57 and a half inches by 76 inches. And it is so, so soft. Um, but it is a tablecloth. But again, you can use it as a blanket, put it on your front porch, drape it out of a basket or a crate. And I didn't really notice any flaws on this, this one. So $10 on this Better Homes and Gardens ones. So it is obviously newer. And more like a burgundy-ish color than um, a true red. Okay, I've got a couple more um, children's toys. So we've got this rake for $20. And even though it's kind of maybe more of a fall thing or a spring thing, this would still look super cute, kind of angled in to a Christmas wreath. You could also just hang it on the wall year round. Um, put it down here where there's some white. Stick it into a crock or a nail keg. $20 on our children's rake. And then we have a hoe, and this looks like it was yellow and red. So $20 on this one. So you can see that side was yellow, and then it looks like this side had been red at some point. So if you don't like the rust, you can always paint it. If you like the rust and you want to clean it up a little bit, just spray it with a clear coat. Um, but again, this would be something that you could take a couple of nails, hang it on the wall, and then you could even like put a terracotta pot there and um, set something. 
Is that a plant or whatever? So $20 on our children's hoe. Okay, then we have $5. I'm all snagged. $5 on this very old um, strand of Christmas lights. They do work. Um, all of the bulbs work. This one used to be blue, but you can see that the blue paint has rubbed off on a lot of these. Um, so you could take the bulbs off, you could spray paint them blue again, and then put them back in. Um, I don't remember how long this was. It's obviously not that long, and it's probably all twisted again. Um, but they do all work, okay? $5 on our vintage uh, Christmas lights. Okay, then $5 on this little vintage ornament. This was another one of the DIY projects from last year, just using a jar lid. And then I had these little faux um, fence sections and I put a vintage bottle brush wreath and a vintage snowman with a little bit of tinsel. So $5 on our little miniature wreath. And then this one is also $5. And this one is made out of um, a jello mold. And so we took the little, um, some little uh, cotton and our little snowman in there and a bottle brush wreath and made a little Christmas ornament. So $5 on the second ornament. Okay, now I think I can get to stove number two. This one is larger than the other one, so really you could stack them. Um, and I do have a yellow one as well, and that one actually plugs in, although I've never tried to see if it actually heats anything up. I think that would be a little scary. Um, this door does not like to stay shut. As you can see, there's not really anything that latches it. Um, so it's always going to be just a little bit open, I think, unless you rig, rig something up to keep it shut. This one does have a couple of burners there and a couple that are missing. And then it has little knobs. Its clock is just a sticker. Um, but again, you've got just something super cute. You could put it on the back of your counter and even just put a little bowl with uh, peppermints or something here for the holidays would be really cute. This one is a little chef where the other one, I'm not sure what brand it was. I kind of think somebody maybe painted the other one at some point. So $35 on our stove number two, and this one is bigger and the little chef one. But again, you could leave that open, stick a bunch of greenery in it, set a little Santa ornament, and that would be really cute. Okay, then we have $10 on these old skates. So these kind of have like a clover there on where your toe would go. These are just over the shoe ones. Um, but you can tie these up. Again, hang them from a sled, hang them from a wreath. Um, you can set them up. One thing that I haven't done this year, but I should, is you can take these straps and um, wrap a wine bottle in them. Um, you can do it for roller skates. I've displayed that before. Um, but put a like a, a empty or full wine bottle in there and have this be a little display. So that is kind of a cute repurposing idea. So $10 on our old skates. Okay. Now we've got five bottles with plastic lids and these are $15 for the five. These would be great to put your little miniatures in. You could turn these into little snow globes. Um, you can use them for something else the rest of the time of the year if you want, but um, I've seen where people have taken book pages or pictures and um, 
put those in the inside of the glass and just kind of had this uh, cylinder like a picture frame. So lots of options on repurposing. You've got five bottles, $15. Okay, then five, $10 on these five glass jar lids. This one has number 40 on it in the middle. Um, this one does say ball jar. Then it's got my five, 10 of them for $5. Here's another one that's a ball jar, a ball jar and a ball jar. So you're getting five of these, four of them are ball jars for $10. So you can set these out. You could turn them into ornaments just by adding some wreaths. So you could use them on your mason jars. Um, five of them for $10. And then we have $40 on this industrial um, commercial bread pan. Vintage bread pudding is one thing that it said. These are ribbed. Um, I was real, I did not uh, seal this or anything, but you could totally just spray it with a clear coat. This is a perfect little divider if you sell stuff or do crafts because you can put something in each little compartment. I was really hoping that these lids would fit in there and you could like line them up, um, but the lids are a little bit too big. So $40 on our vintage commercial loaf pan. Then we have $5 on this State Fair book. It's red and State Fair around here is very popular. I never even looked to see what State Fair it was. I think it's just a, a book book. By Phil Stong. This is just a 1932. So it does have the hand cut book pages, which I absolutely love that texture. So $5 on this one. Then we have Leary's Ready Reckoner, a form book. This one is $5. You can see it's a little guy and it's just got like tables and stuff for math in it mainly. $5 on that. Then we have this something German book. It is old because over here you have like the 1869 date. I have no idea what kind of book it is because I don't know German. $5 on our old book. Then this one is words only crowning glory number one. And there is a crown on it. Again, a very old book. Looks like Anton Carlson has stamped his name in there at some point. $5 on this words only book. Then we have $5 on Little Prudy's Dotty Dimple. Awesome cover. This would be great for spring. It's kind of a light green book. $5 on that. The Irish Twins, $5 on this one. This one would be fun to set out for St. Patrick's Day or any day that's green in your home. So for me, anytime. $5 on the Irish Twins. And then we have old Peter Cottontail. This one will be our last thing since we're at $12.50. Um, it is a uh, 10 and it says Mattel, Mattel Inc. on the back of it. The music box does not work anymore. And everything that I saw with ears, they looked like tissue paper ears, paper ears. So I think you could just hand make some ears pretty easily and they would look original. Um, $20 on our Peter Cottontail. Again, this would be fun to put out for Easter time. 
Okay, so we'll call it good um, there with today's sale. Kind of a recap. I do sales on Sunday at 7 p.m., Tuesdays at noon. Um, if you wanna make a purchase, you just need to comment on Facebook or on Instagram. You can comment once this turns into an IGTV, but from the live, I can't see your comments, so send me a private message. Um, if it's your first time, I need your email address and your zip code, and you need to pay within 24 hours. And it just popped up saying my battery is dead. Um, if you're a first timer, you need to pay within 24 hours. On Thursdays, we pack everything up. We get shipping invoices ready. If you're a repeat customer, your invoice is going, shipping is going to get added to your invoice. If you're a new customer, you'll get a separate invoice for shipping. Um, then once you get that paid, we ship your item. If you have your card on file and I typically pay that, I will not pay that um, each week until Thursday after we get shipping added. If you want me to hold anything, just let me know. You wanna make a bigger box, it's a lot of times one thing, five things, cost the same amount to ship. Or if you need something ASAP, just communicate that to me. And if you have any questions, just ask. I'm not scary, I promise, most of the time. Um, so other than that, thank you so much. I appreciate it. It's cold today. Tomorrow's supposed to be 60 though, and I'm super, super excited. So I'm thinking of all the things I can get done outside while it's warm. So thanks everybody so much. I really appreciate it and have a great day.